I am William Weiss. I am a winemaker from Sonoma County. I was born and raised here in Sonoma County. I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to, to decide as a senior in high school that this is what I wanted to do. I went to, to college for agricultural business, started a business of my own, and started making wine. But in between that and, and going through everything, I traveled around region to region. For me, I work a lot better hands-on. Going out into the vineyards and seeing, seeing the grapes and then going into the winery and being with the winemakers and, and smelling the smells and tasting the taste, and that was what I actually thrived off of. Magnolia Blossom is a brand new wine and label that is coming out of uh, Sonoma County here. We're sourcing Russian River fruit for the Pinot and the Chardonnay. And then we are also doing a small lot of Cabernet from the Rockpile Appalachian. Our vintner is Pat Roberts, and Pat, Pat is a crazy man, but he is, he is a great man. He approached me about a year ago and says, I'm from Florida, I wanna make some wine. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, what are we getting into? But it's been, it's been a, a lot of fun working with him and his family. The whole family, you know, for me, family is so important. So when I got to know him and I got to know his wife and then I got to know Austin and his son, um, it's just been really great working with the whole family. The heart and soul comes through Miss Pam Roberts, who was the, the matriarch of the brand. She was the Steel Magnolia and uh, as, as her nickname, and so that kind of it was the derivative of where the, the brand name came from. We also make wine on Magnolia Road, so it was kind of a, a, a perfect fit. It's a beautiful, beautiful, elegant label that represents her, and uh, I try to make sure that the wine represents the beautiful and elegance that, that is Pam Roberts. Austin Roberts has been a, a ginormous part of this process. He has been through everything with me and he's been here every step of the way. During harvest, so he's been, he's been great. He, you know, he, he did sort of the similar thing that I was doing. He did harvest to harvest and you know, he did a couple different places and, and for me as being someone that brings people in, like that's the best thing is he has experience. He knows what he's doing and it's a, uh, it was really fun working with him, knowing that I didn't have to look over my shoulder and make sure that he was doing something. You know, it was just, I told him to do something and he took care of it. Pat Roberts does only the top of the line. So the fruit that we sourced was top of the line. You know, like he's, it was one of those things I, I stressed him like, hey, the most important thing is, is sourcing your fruit. And he's like, go find whatever you want to find. You know, you find us the best fruit and, and that's what we want to put into a bottle of wine. And so, that's, that's fun for me. And so I'm like, I know some great families. And so he's like, all right, let's go. Let's go meet them. And uh, we went and met him and he said, yep, let's do it. And so for me, that's a lot of fun is, is that we get the best grapes that we can get. And you know, we get all the great, the best stuff. And you know, it makes life a lot easier and it makes amazing wine. Starting from when the grapes come in. So I go out to the vineyards and sample the vineyards and check on the grapes and find out when they're when they're ready. You know, we, we test bricks and, and, uh, and at basically pH and TA. But uh, the main thing is, is that it's all about taste. So going out there and seeing when the, when the grapes are very well balanced between the acidity and the sugar level and knowing the right characters that I'm, I'm really looking for. Once it feels balanced, we'll, we'll call the pick. So once the pick comes down, we bring in the fruit in half ton bins. And so we get a half a ton at a time. I get a forklift that has a forward bin dumper. And so basically we go into a big hopper that has a sorting line underneath it and we dump these bins into the hopper and we have about six or eight of our close friends and family and uh and people that are working here and we all just stand around and we basically take away all all the stuff that we don't want grab a bunch of leaves and we grab a bunch of stems that anything that doesn't look like it's a grape we pull it out after that it goes through a cut crusher to stemmer we don't crush we just destem, so we get a lot of whole berries and then it goes into another bin and uh, we'll dump it into one of our tanks. And so once we get everything into a tank, um, we do a cold soak and we just hold on to the fruit so we get a little bit more of the extraction rate. And then after that, we let it go in about seven, 10 days, ferments. Hopefully we watch bricks and temps every single day and everything goes well and uh, we put it straight to barrel. So then after, the, after that, you know, I'm a minimalist so I don't like to do a lot to the wine. So it's a little, bit, a little bit of checking here and a little bit of checking there, but for the most part, I, I let it just sit in barrel for 11 months and, uh, and don't touch it. Pat Roberts is the type of person that, that wants to, to strive for the best and it always, is, is always trying to be something great. And, and you know, I think it's a reflection of, of, of Pam, you know, who has been, who's had, uh, 
struggles throughout her life, you know, with her health, and, and she has just always fought through everything and, and become such a, a, an inspiration. It was something that I think he wanted to create to reflect something beautiful that took time that we could put into a bottle that everybody else could enjoy the same way that he and I and, and the people that surround Pam get to enjoy. You know, he, want, he wants everybody else to, to experience that, that, that beauty that comes inside of a bottle, you know?